Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 7530 model laptop. And in this video I'm gonna go over how quickly you can remove or replace your keyboard. If your keyboard some keys are not working or you drop some water and you just simply want to replace it, eh, this video is for you. By removing the keyboard you're not gonna change any configuration or anything like that. You can change it to a different style, it's a Spanish keyboard, you can change it to a US keyboard, stuff like that. And I'm going to go on step by step how you can do this. It's really easy. First thing first, you want to power off the key and the laptop, obviously the keyboard. And you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. You can get the simple set, the screwdriver. And from here, we're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro Set, it's a little expensive, but the Pro Set do include you with an opening tools and some tweezers that we're gonna need. If not, grab a curved tweezer and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, we wanna remove the bezel that goes in between the keys. We need that this marker or the bezel. If you change your keyboard for a different uh, country, different layout, you might want to get a keyboard with a, its own bezel. So they change the entry key from L to a straight, so the bezel from this one will not go on the other one. But if you want to change it to the same exact keyboard, the bezel can be used. So you can see on the back, on the top of the keyboard, there's a tiny spot right there, a tiny spot right there. So what you want to do, you want to put the opening tool, in this case the guitar pick, right in there. And you want to just flip it like that and you're going to see that thing opens up. You want to grab the bezel with your finger and then you want to put it on this side and on the bezel only. Don't lift up the keys, only the bezel. And you want to do this all around on the side and you want to lift it up in 35 degrees, not too much. You don't want to crack it. You want to work it around like this and then you can see, move your hand along with it up and down and it's going to remove the bezel. The bezel do have a little part number, and if you get a different layout keyboard, you need to get a new bezel. All right, let's put that to one side. Now, we're going to remove six screws. One screw right in here, here, here. So three screws on the front row, and three screws in the middle hidden. One right there, one right there, and one right there. So go ahead and remove all these six screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. All right, now that we remove all those six screws, what you want to do, you want to uh, close, close down the laptop, flip it upside down. Now we're going to remove the back cover. The back cover has a whole bunch of screws. All the screws will not come out entirely. You just have to loose them up because they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent them from coming out. So pretty much all you want to do, twist, twist, until it becomes loose and leave it there. Just twist, twist, do some extra twisting. And twisting, do all, all of them. The one in the middle too. All right, once you did that, grab it from the back side, wiggle it around, pull it up hard, and it's going to make some cracking noise, and it's going to get loose. Now we need to remove the battery. Pull this trigger thing upward. You can disconnect. Remove three screws for the battery on the front row. All right. Now that we remove the battery, you can go ahead and lift up the battery and put it to one side. You're gonna grab the tweezer, use a tweezer, your fingernails, to put it right on this cover and lift up this cover 90 degree upward. This one right here and this one right here. This is, and we're gonna pull the flex cable out, pull the flex cable out, pull the flex cable out. This is for the keyboard, for the nipple mouse, and this is for the backlight. All right, once we remove those, now we're gonna go back on this side. You wanna grab the opening tool, you wanna put it right in here, and we wanna twist it. You need to loosen up. Yeah, let's go ahead from this side. From, start it from this corner and you want to op, pull it up and you're going to hit those tiny clicks. Make sure you do it on the tray of the keyboard, not on the keys. Go on the bottom, do it on that side. This side, go all the way back. Bring it in here. 
I'm gonna grab the tray with my fingers and I'm gonna pull up the tiny hooks in the middle. So once it's released and you have it up like that one centimeter, you wanna pull it towards yourself. You can release this back plate and then you wanna gently pull it out. If it's not coming out, don't yank it. You just, all you wanna do, you wanna go back to this side and fit the cables through the plastic. Make sure you just fit them manually so it goes through. And there we have it. Okay, you can see it. Oh, actually, this was for the nipple that goes there. And this is for the backlight and for the keyboard. And the part number for this one, it is a 0V957R. Okay, you can purchase your own, check your own part number that you have so you can get your own layout part number. Once you got the new keyboard in, make sure you fit all these cables through this hook right there. Before you put it all the way like this, you don't want to do this. You want to put it like one centimeter and then you want to lift it up like that a little bit. And you want to slide the top side under the palm rest first. Once the top side is under the palm rest, you want to push these flex cables. And while you're pushing the keyboard down, that it stays just like that. You don't want to force it. You want to push the sides down, make sure you hit all tiny clicks. Now we are going to put the six screws that we removed on the keyboard. Three in the middle, hidden between the keys, and three on the front. Once you did that, now you want to grab the framing for the keyboard, put it right on top, and just squeeze down on the between the keys, make sure you do nice click sounds on the front row, between the keys, in the middle, until it just snapped into the place. And go to the sides, front side, back, everywhere. Okay, and there we have it. Now we're gonna close it down, flip it out of the side, and we are gonna connect the flex cable. Open up the lock, slide the connector right in there. I use a tweezer, it's easier. There we go, hold it and close it down. Hold it, close it down. And hold it and close it down. There we go. And the last thing down here, put the battery. Make sure the battery, the hooks on the front side goes first in a 45 degree, and then set it down and put the three screws for the battery. and grab the connector for the battery and plug, push it right in there. It's just snapped on. Grab the bottom cover, make sure you wanna put the front end of the bottom cover right in here in 45 degree angle. And then you wanna just hold it down, put the center screw, and then tighten up the rest of the screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up, putting up the rest of the screw. There we go.